Now, as scientists, we can tell what genes are being turned on or off by using a technique that involves something commonly called a DNA chip. This is a small microscope slide onto which has been spotted all of the genes, a copy of all of the genes in the human genome, which is about 30,000 genes. And so I'll show you with an example using a nerve cell here how we would go about doing that. So if we wanted to know which genes were expressed in this nerve, so here we have the head of the nerve where the nucleus is found, and here's the axon, and then here's the business end that sends the signal. If we wanted to know what was going on in terms of which genes were on and off in this, we would extract the nucleic acid, which I'm going to do here with this turkey baster since we've just finished Thanksgiving. So you'd suck out the nucleic acid, extract it from the cell, and then using the part of the nucleic acid called RNA, which represents the genes which have been expressed or turned on, one can make a probe from that and label the probe with a fluorescent marker. That's then applied to a DNA chip, and I have my little DNA chip here, which some of you may remember from playing games as a child. We then take our labeled probe and put it into this chip like this, and this will, because there are spots representing every gene in the genome, tell us exactly which genes are on, shown here, or off in the other color. Now, I've done this with a nerve, and it would be a different result, a different pattern if we used a different cell type. And I'll show you in the next slide an example of a chip, a cartoon of one, and what it would look like.